Now it's off season for Formula One racing, or that's what we had thought. Formula One's governing body, the International Automobile Federation, or the FIA, has announced an investigation to probe allegations of a conflict of interest between Mercedes racing boss Toto Wolff and his wife Susie Wolff. Now Susie Wolff heads the all-female Formula One Academy while also reporting to Formula One's chief executive officer and president, Stefano Dominical. And there are reports that classified information are being passed around. The allegations concern the possibility of sharing insider information between Susie and her husband. Basically, the claims are that Susie, who is close, with, close to Formula One CEO, has passed on sensitive information to the head of Mercedes Racing, who happens to be her husband. Has Mercedes Racing benefited with Toto Wolff's wife Susie working for Formula One CEO? Take a look. It was a stellar season for Formula One racing. Many records were broken not just by teams and racers, but by the sporting body itself. The 2023 season had some historic viewership. The races grabbed eyeballs of millions of people. Formula One CEO and President Stefano Dominicelli says that 40% of fans were women, the highest it has ever been. Domenicali also added that F1 racing saw its highest viewership in Asian countries, particularly India. On one side, F1 was gaining popularity. On the other end, Red Bull team's Max Verstappen was having a record-breaking year. Verstappen won his third title. He finished the season with a total of 590 points, the highest in F1 history. Verstappen secured the biggest F1 championship winning margin with a lead of 290 points. He had the most wins in a racing season as he finished top of the podium in 19 out of 22 races. And Verstappen also set the record for the most consecutive race wins, which was 10. This is just a handful of records he and Red Bull broke this year. While they were having a golden season, their arch rivals Mercedes and Lewis Hamilton were struggling to keep up. After an unimpressive 2023 season, Mercedes boss Toto Wolff promised to overhaul the team. He called the team's performance unacceptable and totally baffling. This was one of the worst seasons for Mercedes racing in the last 13 years. The lead racer, Lewis Hamilton, did not have a single race win. In fact, Hamilton last topped the podium in December in 2021, that's two years ago. But it seems like despite the season ending, things have come back to haunt Mercedes. As per reports, a number of teams claim that confidential information was being provided to Mercedes. The allegations are that Susie Wolf, who works with the all-female F1 Academy and reports to F1 President Dominicali, has passed on sensitive information to her husband Toto Wolf, the head of Mercedes Racing. Now, Formula One's governing body, the International Automobile Federation or FIA, has launched an investigation. They're probing the allegations of Mercedes Racing receiving insider information. And this has spread like wildfire in the racing community. Susie Wolf was the first to respond to the allegations. She took to her Instagram to announce her disappointment with the claims. I am deeply insulted but sadly unsurprised by the public allegations that have been made this evening. It is disheartening that my integrity is being called into question in such a manner, especially when it seems to be rooted in intimidatory and misogynistic behaviour and focused on my marital status rather than my abilities. In the strongest possible terms, I reject this allegation. After Susie's strong messaging, Mercedes too rejected the claims of conflict of interest. Then, things took a different turn and all nine teams put out a coordinated statement saying they never filed a complaint. We can confirm that we have not made any complaint to the FIA regarding the allegation of information of a confidential nature being passed between an F1 team principal and a member of F1 staff. We are pleased and proud to support F1 Academy and its managing director through our commitment to sponsor an entrant in our liveries from next season. The latest dispute comes amid growing rift between Formula One and FIA. They've been at loggerheads ever since Emirati Mohammed bin Sulaim took over as FIA president in 2021. And it looks like the FIA will follow through with the probe that is alleging possible cheating in Formula One, increasing hostilities between the two even further.